Hello everyone. Myself, I am Sharanya, working as an assistant professor in the department of AML in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss the topic about transport layer security. So, coming to the overview of this transport layer security, first of all, we need to know about transport layer security and what are those goals and how it is going to be work and what are the uses of TLS and what are the handshake protocol of TLS. So, coming to the transport layer security of definition, it is nothing but a security protocol that maybe ensures the safe communication between the computers over a network. It is nothing but a internet. And it is also one type of protocol, the basic of communication between the computers and also the network that is nothing but a like internet. It is also the one of the best successful of SSL. SSL is nothing but a secure socket layer, one of the best successful example. And it is also well like visiting websites like HTTPS instead of HTTP. That is nothing but a securing, that is nothing but a protecting our information or any connections. That is nothing but what is meant by transport layering security. Then coming to the goals of TLS. So, mainly the TLS provides the three main protections. One is encryption first one. So, in encryption always the data should be scrambled means outsiders cannot the read the process whatever is happening inside of the information. For example, any passwords or credit card details or any messages that are encrypted before being sent means you have to check your whole information of any passwords or credit card details while sending before you fit. So, next one is authentication. So, authentication we already discussed in the previous videos also. So, basically the authentication means only the authorized people can access the kind of information or related data. So, it is nothing but a really dating to the intended website or particular server means not as an imposter. For example, we need to certify certificates verify that has nothing but a uh, really the website is going to be correct or not means HTTPS is nothing but a secure that is the authentication best example. Next one is integrity. Integrity is nothing but a, the data should not be any altered or it should not be modified of the data means for example hackers is going to modify some kind of messages but transport layer security will not be detected that is the main three goals of TLS. One is con uh, authentication and second one is integrity and encryption. These are the three types of the goals in transport layer security. The next one, how the TLS is going to be work. First one is handshake phase. Handshake phase is always related to the client and also the server. Client is nothing but a browser and server here is nothing but a website. Here the client and the server is going to exchange messages what does happens in the handshake phase. Let us see which the encryption method is to use and kind of version is used in the TLS and also exchange also keys means exchange of keys is nothing but by using either public or private key cryptography. The next the second one is certificate verification. So basically the certificate verification is happened the, for example, where, while we are entering into the bank or uh, something, uh, anything, anything related to the information, while we are entering into the certificate verification in colleges or in a bank, first of all, the server need to show some digital certificates uh, trusted by the authority. Then after only the browser needs to check whether, whether the server is genuine or not. That is nothing but a certificate verification. The next third one is session key generation. What the session key generation will happen? So, both the sides of the same symmetric key are happened for this session. Means further communications are happened in the session key generation. The next one is fourth one, secure communication. What happens in the secure communication? So, secure communication relates to the kind of login credentials or messages or any transaction. This means it should be an encrypted and must be transferred in the kind of some data. That are the four types of the working process of TLS. 
then what are the uses of tls mainly some of our websites website is nothing but for securing of hypertext transfer protocol means for our secure browsing the next one is e emails emails is nothing but a securing imap or uh, pop of pop and uh, smtp that is a secure mail transfer protocol these are all kinds of emails which is also used in the tls the next one is messaging apps messaging apps is nothing but a securing of communication the next one is virtual private networks means internet traffic is related to the virtual private network books it means it is going to protect the some kind of vpns these are the four uses of tls then coming to the what happens if the tls is going to happen in our real life for example imagine you are sending one letter for, that is nothing but a your data so what happens without the tls and with the tls we can see here without tls you can put in a clear envelope so anyone can read the or it can change the messages means for example uh, take myself for uh, without a tls if the envelope is open i can read and i can change the data also inside of the envelope with the tls what will happen it should be and lock into an strong box so only the particular server only particular receiver only has the key to open it that is nothing but a without the secure and with the secure the difference between without tls and with the tls that is the real example what we are happening in our life the next one is handshake protocol what does this handshake protocol is very important in the transport layer security so basically it happens in the between the server and also the client so this both the server and client is going to play in the handshake protocol in the tls so see here the handshake protocol is mainly to establish some of the sessions so this protocol basically allows the client and also the server so basically the client and server basically it is using to authenticate each other by sending some of the messages to each other firstly for example client is going to send the message to the server then after the server reads the messages which is passed from the client then after it confirms the message and reverse back the sends to the again client that is the process of handshake protocol so it also mainly uses four phases to complete its life cycle that is nothing but a phase 1 what will happen in both the client and server should hello hello packets to each other means any of the internet packet will be sent to each other so this protocol are mainly exchanged for the security purposes in the phase 1 then after server is going to send its certificate and maybe the server key can exchanges then after the server is sending the phase 2 is going to send it by the server hello end packet so already it is started of the message from the server then after the sending it comes to the phase 2 so the packet should be ended in the phase 3 the in the phase client replies to the server whether by sending its certificate and also the client exchange key so that is the phase 3 in phase 4 of all these completions what will happens after this handshake protocol ends it should be the cipher should be changed that are the four phases of handshake protocol so see here let us uh, having an uh, example of handshake protocol so firstly there are between client and also the server in the client side firstly the client will pass a message to the phase 1 means going to the established connection between the client and the server they are passing a message of hello in tls in handshake protocol so the client and server are basically discussing about any one of the message uh, are so client here thinking whatever it is uh, so i need to pass the some of the message to the server so basically the message uh, sended by the client is nothing but a hello so already the hello was passed to the server so in the phase 1 it is going to be established means the connection was uh, happened between client and the server the next what is the server will do it should be also receives the hello messages 
in the phase 2 the server will set the sum of the certificate so the server will make a request to the client exchange so this client exchange what will do after the completion the server key should be exchanged in the phase 2 that is nothing but a server authentication so authentication is happened here while coming to the phase 3 after this completion the client sends the certificate so here client already server received the one certificate now clients send one certificate so here client should be key should be exchanged in the phase 3 so that is nothing but a phase 3 of client authentication in the phase 4 change cipher will be occurred so change cipher occurred is nothing but a one handshake is finished means handshake should be end of the both the process of from the client and also the server that was here client and server for example here client here server so both the process of client and server are finished and again the client is going to send the message to the client uh, server again the server is going to be end the protocol that is nothing but a handshake protocol there are four phases one is to establish a connection then after server authentication then after client authentication then after handshake should be ended these are the four types of the handshake protocol which is done by the client and the server process so in today's session we have discussed about the transport layer security in the next session we will discuss about secure electronic transaction that is nothing but a set process thank you